What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about advanced electrical modeling uh, for Revit electrical design. Okay, so in this video, we are going to use a customized uh, switchboard panel schedule to display the circuits in a project and the three paces of the switchboard. And then after that, we are going to create a single pace circuits connected to the switchboard and then use the switch paces option or command to balance the loads. So our objectives here is basically to understand the single pace circuits on a standard switchboard panel schedule. I'm going to show that to you. And then also we are going to apply an edited panel schedule template to the project and then I'm going to show you how to create a single pace circuit and we are going to review again the panel schedule and then after that we are going to use this option switch paces to balance loads on our switchboard okay so as you can see on our view right now so we are on one dash power and then there are some uh, fixtures here that is already placed this actually a heater okay so if i go check this one out in a 3d view it's just a box okay but what makes this um family uh important or good it's because of the connector that is attached to that so as a standard so you do not need to make your family very detailed the important thing is that there is a connector attached to that Okay, so that you'll be able to connect this family to your circuit. So it doesn't matter even if you have only a box as long as there's a connector. Okay, so if you are going to make your family really, ve uh, really detailed, so sometimes it slows down your project. That's why uh, you just need to get the dimension and then just put a connection or, or connector to that so that you'll be able to place that to a circuit. So this is my uh, heater. So as you can see, it's placed all over this floor plan. And all of this, um, or most of the circuits created for my heaters are connected to my family here, my switchboard, this one. So again, this is my metering switchboard. And if I'm going to check that in the 3D view, again, it's only a box, okay? So it's not, uh, de uh, it's not detailed very simple family but what makes this important is the connectors that is attached to that so as you can see i have a connector here and i also have some connectors here to create my conduit okay but anyway uh, let me just go back again to my one dash power so as i'm saying if i'm going to check the system browser here so if i click the switchboard so as you can see some of the circuits are here and then i have here sb1 and then these are the circuits that have created in this uh, uh heaters okay so i have circuits one to nine which are all connected to sb1 okay right now what i'm gonna do is um all the circuit or all the single pace circuits here are connected to the switchboard so that's what i'm trying to say so i'm going to open now the panel schedule if you remember last time that is what we did so from my project browser i'm going to open here the panel schedule i'm going to open that and then as you can see this is just a uh, single pace uh, circuit Okay, and then you will notice here all the circuits are listed under one column, right? With the totals for all circuits at the bottom here. So there is no reference to the pace the circuits are connected to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this template. Okay, I'm just going to show you some option to play with. But I'm not going to modify this one. I'm just going to uh, edit option so let's go to the manage and then let's go here so there's an option here edit template so let's click that one 
And then this time, we're going to change the template type. So last time, we, are, uh, we are using branch panel, right? So this time, we're going to use a switchboard template. So let's click the switchboard. And then I now have here two templates. So PS, switchboard, the other one is switchboard default. So I'm going to select here the switchboard default. And then I'm going to open that. And straight away, so this is now how the switchboard template looks like. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here a uh, set template. Okay, this one. Remember this. So set template option. Okay, so let me select this one. And then here on my circuit table. Okay, so basically for you to be able to display all the three paces of the switchboard in a panel schedule, this option here is the one that you need to select okay so i'm just trying to show you how to show all the three paces of the switchboard in the panel schedule because a while ago you can only see uh, one pace there right but if ever you want to create a template that will shows all the three paces of the switchboard in your panel schedule so you go to the circuit table and then you can just select this option okay now i'm just gonna cancel this one i'm not gonna do this i just showed this to you guys so that you have an idea so i'm just gonna cancel that and then i'm gonna cancel this one right now the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to change this template here okay so you see there's a template there so i'm gonna select here change template and then i'm going to select here the ps switchboard template by the way, if you're using, let's say, 2021, and then there's a warning that appears, you just uh, need to select OK. Just accept that warning. Okay. And all right. So let me select the PS switchboard, and then I'm going to select your OK. And there you go. So there's, this is now the template of your PS switchboard. So as you can see here, it shows the three paces here, the bus, buses A, B, C. Okay. And also, um, the single pace loads are connected here on my pace A or on my bus A here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to balance these loads. So as you can see, there is no circuit connected to my bus A or uh, bus B or pace B as well as uh, pace C. That's why you can see here the total connected loads are all zero so we are going to balance this so how to do this so what i'm going to do first is let me create a circuit another circuit so let's say i want to create another uh, circuit 10 i'm going to use the circuit 10 uh, slot here so let me go to the one dash power and i'm going to connect this for heaters I'm going to select these four heaters and then here I'm going to create a power and then I'm going to make sure that it's connected to my SB1, right? So SB1 and then after that just select your modify. So it's now connected to my SB1. So to check that just hover your pointer and then press tab and then click the circuit. You can check this properties here. You see it's now circuit number 10 and it's connected to SB1. All right, now let me go back again to the panel schedule and obviously it will now going to be added here. Okay, All right. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to rebalance. So after I add the circuit, so I want to rebalance this one. So let's say, for example, for my circuit number four, I want that to be on my uh, pace B. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select circuit number four and then from the circuits panel, there's an option here, switch paces. So it toggles the paces the selected circuit is connected to. So loads on the switchboard bus update to reflect pace changes. So I'm going to select this one. And right away, it's now here on my uh, bus B or pace B. And as you can see, the total connected load here updates. 
So if ever you want your circuit number 4 to be on uh, bus C, so you just need to switch paces again. Just click again the switch paces and it will now go there. If you click that again, it will go back again to uh, A, but I want that B. And same with 5, circuit number 5, I want that to be circuit number 6. So that's it. Okay, and then the rest here, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to put that to my uh, bus or pace C. All right, so I'm going to select 7 and then switch paces. Okay, so select 8 and then switch paces. 9, switch paces. Just uh, click the switch paces double two times. Okay, and there you go. So basically, somehow they are now uh, balanced. So as you can see, the total load are now updated. Okay, so that's what you do. So once you complete, so you can review the totals for each column where the loads are now more evenly balanced across all the three paces. So when using Revit for electrical design, the information in each circuit created and modified automatically updates. Okay, so that's really good in Revit. So it provides invaluable feedback to assist in making the design decision. So you can edit an existing panel schedule template or if you want, you can also create or edit a duplicate to gain uh, let's say greater visibility of pace allocation on a switchboard okay and then after that you can switch the paces to balance the loads on your switchboard and that gives you a greater control and more accurate account of the electrical distribution in your project so hopefully this helps you guys if you have any comments just put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.